One way to add additional texture in ZBrush is actually going to be in the surface panel. Now before you do anything in surface, one thing that I might recommend is to go ahead and create a morph target. So store morph target. And then when you go into that surface thing, go ahead and click noise. Now you can actually change what type of noise it adds. This is going to be kind of a generic noise that it adds to your thing. But you can actually bring in noise makers from your light box and get some pretty specific stuff that's already been created. And you'll notice as I turn my light box off that it's trying to bring color in, which I'm not necessarily going to apply. But when I say apply to mesh, it's going to give me the extra texture that came from that. Now usually it's more uniform than you really want and you don't necessarily want that everywhere. What you're going to be using is the morph brush. So the morph brush is going to eliminate texture where you don't want it to happen or what it's going to do is it's going to take your mesh back to the original so you can see it's keeping the original texture that I had underneath it but the new one that I created is now being eliminated. And that can be very useful, particularly if you're going to use multiple noise modifiers. You can go ahead and delete your morph target, store a new morph target, and then go in and introduce a new surface quality. And now when I apply that to mesh, you'll see we're getting a really, really different sort of thing. And in this case, you know, that almost destroyed my entire texture that I had originally. So if we want to bring that back originally, we'll just back off a little bit in a couple places, weather that rock back down to the original where it used to be. So you can use that for a variety of different textural surfaces.